Hello, this is Artie Mays and I'm back here with a little tutorial on the embellishments I've been making for the JDJ challenge. So if you haven't done it, get out your stash and have a go because it's it's um, a lot of fun. That's what I think anyway. So what I'll do, I'll, I'll begin with um, these little bouquet things that I'm doing. So a way of using up some book pages. So anyway so all I do is cut out some circles that's a piece of vellum book page that's double book page stuck back to back there so it just gives a little bit more stability um, a few of your roses on wire and I cut the leaves so this is one of the very simple ones you don't even need glue with that actually but I do tend to glue them a little bit so all I do is I will stick three together I try to get get them different heights as well so they're not all the same Oops, like that so I'll put the leaves behind make sure it's the right way facing forward that's that so you do a little display and then it's a book page and what I do is I'm going to actually glue just a little bit down that just the side of the center line just so it's got something to hold on to but you don't need to I hope I'm in frame because I actually can't see my phone at the moment so oops, there we go just lay them across like that and then fold over and fold over a vellum then skeleton leaf I never knew what to do with even though I wanted them because I love them and then I staple through here like so and then I trim off the ends I did cut one off right here and I actually didn't like it so I find it better if they just got a little bit showing down here I think they look more realistic and then you can always manipulate these because they're on wire to get them to look better like so and that's that embellishment there there we go and they are as you say quick so if you cut out all your circles and, and very very quick are and the other one is these little hearts I done so again that was from the corrugated cardboard I die cut the hearts from that and again all I've done is book pages stuck over once it's dry gessoed it and then I cut the die die cut shapes like so out from that so again all very simple the hardest bit is actually because of the dealing with these little tiny bits <laughs> which sometimes disappear right all we do here so we put the that's a little die cut shape so i'm going to put a little tiny bit of glue in here I'm, I'm not fussy about my glue i'll just stick it anywhere and put that in there Gotta lay a little leaf over the top there. Poke through. Then I'll stick my main one. Actually, I'll do two leaves. That's it. I'm using hot glue here. And then I'll stick the main, the largest one. I usually do one big one and two little ones. So, but actually, I'm going to put this down first. I nearly forgot that. Again, it's a big group. There. And I'll just cut it. I'll just do it so it spreads out a bit. Try and keep away from that area here because that's where your words are going to be so keep that sort of a little bit freer yeah, 
that one and up there. Just hold that down for a second. That's it. Hold on a minute. Sorry about that. That's one of my work colleagues just come up to say goodbye. Right, so we stuck that one in there. And then oh, now I usually try and because this one's on wire, so I'll stick that up there. Like so. That's it. Squish them down a bit. There you go. That's that, and then this is where I usually burn my fingers on these. I have got my tweezers there, but I never tend to use them. That's I did the ink the edges already of these, so and then I try and do it so that it's just slightly raised, so that I don't press that one too flat. That's there. Don't forget to get your glue screw strings off if you're using heat gun, heat tool, and then seal a bit of glue and stick that there. And that was that one finished. Yep, there we go. That's those. And the last one is this one. So again. I usually trim off after because I'm never sure where I want it, so I'll do that first. Right, let's have a look. So I usually layer up this. I usually put these, actually glue these on with normal glue, but I'll just, for quickness, I'll do this today. That should be fine. I put this down, but I leave that slightly open there so I can put my trim in. It's there. Like that. Actually, what I normally do, I remember now, it's terrible, isn't it? Um, is I will add the trim to the piece of paper first, to the card there. So I'll just run a bead along there. But that's what I normally do. Before I stick it down, I'll add the trimming first. I'll get that underneath. Okay. And then bead along that. So it might look a bit awkward today. Just like that. That's it. And then press it down. There we go. That's all fine. There we go. That's that. Then I will put a lace on. So just again, just a little bit of don't need very much or else it'll become too lumpy, so not down there. usually misprints I've used here. Stick that one about in the middle ish. <laughs> now put a little bit of net over. Actually don't stick that down normally. The flower goes over the top. There. Die cut flower. Which I'll go through the net and then Stick the net down. Like that. And then I will put that one in, layer that up first. And just stick that out a bit through the middle there. Like to go quiet when I'm. Working, don't I? <laughs> and stick 
that one. Okay. And I trim that off. That don't throw it away. I use it. So that can lie like that. Okay, and then all you do then is add, add a few gems across there. And that's it. Or you could again add some difference, add some sequins. So let's do that in this one. Those used to work in threes. that one but still the same still effective that's it well, i hope you like those that that is it so that was quite a few little quick tutorials there on the embellishments that i've been making so i hope you enjoy it and thank you for watching bye bye